Well, crabs, crabs have to molt to get bigger because they have an exo, exoskeleton. So what they do, they grow, and then uh, when it's time to molt, they'll molt. They're soft. They'll puff up generally with water, and then they'll harden up, and then they have to fill that space, that new space, with muscle, and then when it's time to grow more, they'll molt again. The males will continually do this, but the females have a terminal molt, so and that's when they become mature. So they have their last molt is right when they become mature, and when they're right before that, right before they become mature, they'll find a mate, a male. Um, they'll mate while she is soft, and then when, when she hardens up, she's now a mature female crab with the ability to make eggs. And then she'll have to go from where she mates, where the males are in the mid salinity areas, she's going to have to travel all the way to the lower bay to release the eggs. Well, yeah, the crab is a major uh, predator within the system. So if crab populations, like, like many other species, they all play an important role. So if you take one sort of piece of the machine, you know, piece of the clock out, the clock may not work so well with the piece missing, much like the ecosystem. Uh, the crabs play an important part. They're a dominant predator in the system. Um, little crabs are food for uh, many other species. Little invertebrates, other little invertebrates, amphipods, isopods, uh, little worms, polychaetes, and, and things. Uh, when they get a little bit bigger, they uh, like a lot of uh, several species of small clams in the bay. So non-commercial species, but uh, little macoma clams.